Hi, good day. How are you, everyone? I pray by the grace of God you're all doing well. I was going through my postings and I, well, actually, I wasn't looking for it, but it, Facebook prompted me that uh, four years ago I had posted something uh, about Acts chapter 2, verses 17 to 21. And when I read it, <laughs> it became like um, maybe a scripture that four years ago, I must have foreseen something in the future that will be happening, which is today and what is going on with the world. Because four years ago, on March 26, 2016, by 7 p.m., 7.14 is when I posted this, it says Acts chapter 2 verse 17 to 21 and in the last days it shall be God declares that I will pour out my spirit on all flesh and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy and your young men shall see visions and your old men shall dream dreams even on my male servants and female servants in those days I will pour out my spirit and they shall prophesy and i will show wonders in the heavens above and signs on the earth below blood and fire vapor of smoke the sun shall be turned to darkness and the moon to blood before the lord comes the great and magnificent day and it shall come to pass that everyone who calls upon the name of the lord shall be saved i'm just realizing something it says that there will be fire uh, fire in Australia and smoke is comes from the fire too and it says that uh, there will be darkness uh, the sun shall be turned to darkness and the moon to blood uh, for January of this year there was a penumbral eclipse of the moon the next lunar eclipse is on June 5th to the 6th of this year. Then an annual eclipse of the moon will be June 21st. On July 4th to 5th, there will be another penumbral eclipse. And then again on November 29th to the 30th. And the last one will be December 14th, 2020, which will be the total eclipse of the sun. So it just uh, made me realize something when I was reading the prompt that Facebook gave me that I, well, if God wasn't trying to reveal things to people, at least I think he was trying to reveal something to me. Because when I read it, it made me see that what we're going through now is what he had written in Acts chapter 2, verse 17 to 21. So people watch out, look out for yourself so that you don't get the virus. And know that uh, um, it's been written about what's going on before even it happened. So let's pray that God help the scientists and the lab technicians and the biochemistry people who can help create a new vaccine for this virus that is going on. Because we do not want the end of the world to come. But have a blessed day.